Hello everyone, uh, my name is uh, Deep Ranjan, a very good morning to all of you. So in this video, uh, we are going to uh, see about the image background removal project. So for that, I'm going to use here a paper, uh, a deep learning paper, which comes in uh, 20 November 2020. And the paper name is, is a green screen really necessary for real time portrait mating? So first of all, we'll try to understand uh, why this uh, image background removal service is important. Okay, so like a background removal uh, can be defined as a type of photo editing service that allows editors to get rid of unwanted background and replace it with another photograph or images that is appropriate as per the requirement of customer or a client okay so the process of background removal seems to be easy uh, but in reality it is complex in nature as uh, involves spending considerable time technology and resources by the editors okay so in getting the required picture or image as per the business requirement of clients or user of the image or photograph so this is the like uh, importance of the image background services so as i told you we are going to use here is green uh, really necessary for real time portrait mating so in this paper they are using a concept called modnet okay so what exactly this uh, modnet is uh, modnet is uh, uh, like its full form is moving object detection network with motion and appearance for autonomous driving okay so actually modnet is a very uh, lightweight mating objective decomposition network which can process portrait mating from a single input image in real time and also it is much faster than the like a older way older matting methods and it runs at the 63 frame per second 63 fps okay and it achieves remarkable results in daily and the photo daily photos and video and it is easy to be trained in any in to in style so so it is not an uh, easy task uh, okay uh, to find the person and uh, remove the background many techniques are using basic computer vision algorithms for this task quickly but not precisely so this paper is really a, a very good one and it it is really very faster than other methods okay so now uh, i'll come to the implementation part we are not going to uh, like uh, see here the ex complete uh, architecture okay i can't explain you as of now in just 10 minutes video okay. so first of all we'll see uh, what all things i have done so if you can see here uh, just let me uh, go to top okay so this uh, you can see this url this is a github page okay uh, let me open it this github so this is the github page okay modnet paper if you can see here also they are using this uh, modnet only for background removal and it's working uh, pretty good right okay it's really pretty good you can see here also it's really good okay so uh, what i have done here okay i have used their pre-trained model okay i haven't trained it i have used their pre-trained model and I have integrated with the flask API and let's see how it is working okay so this is the code for that I'll give you a brief about that what all things I have done here so I have simply imported flask and all those uh, components like a flask render template response request send redirect URL for send yeah, and the flask these things and this inference this inference is the inference.py okay so in which i am i'm just uh, loading my model and doing all the prediction kind of a thing okay import os fine so here is the upload folder okay after pre after prediction uh, where my uh, image get uploaded in this folder it will get uploaded this is the index.html page okay so when i will uh, run this app so that that index that html will open it will render after that so 
this is the important part okay here so we are taking the file okay uh, we'll just uh, select the path of the file okay we'll select the file and that will be passed through this file name secure file name okay after that this will be uh, this file name will be joined to that upload folder it will be added to that upload folder also and then we'll find the file path we'll save the file path okay and that file path will be passed to the this inference to predict uh, to do the inferencing part okay to the to do the pre uh, prediction here so this can be done there so what is happening in the inference i'll just uh, show you uh, before, first of all we'll try to understand what all these things we have doing so after this inference once the inference like the prediction is done okay then what we are doing we are just uh, clearing up uh, all the catches that are all uh, like created by the api okay so we are just uh, clearing all the catches by using these code so you can check anywhere so what is happening in the inference so in inference we are loading the model we are getting uh, we are get giving the output where my image is going to uh, save and that will be saved in the png format this simply is just uh, if the image path and the model path is not like this so it will simply print a message like model can cannot find the model path and cannot find the input path okay so after getting the image okay it will check for the image height and width and according to that it will convert into into uh, some uh, some size like we have given a size of 512 512 okay in that size it will convert it and then it will that same image path will be read by the cv2 matter and it will convert this bzr image into rgb then the shape will be changes like uh, if uh, there will be a difference in the shape then it will just uh, do some kind of a conversion here okay nothing else is there just resizing operation is doing here and transpose swipe access expand dimension will dimension now here we are loading our inference like loading our model session and we are passing our model uh, sorry uh, passing our image to this model and we are getting the output so whatever output we are getting uh, we'll just writing it to the output path this output path we are just uh, going to write it there like save it there and that so after that we can see uh, this will be uh, saved there that a static upload folder and detected that png is inside that you can see there uh, uploads inside that detected dot it will be saved there so so now let's run our code okay uh, let me run it just it will take some time okay not much okay it will generate the url okay is generated copy the url and then paste it there okay so here to uh, this is the ui part that i was talking about the index.html page so we'll just uh, select the image any one of image this one this one this one so let's select this one first open it and then submit it Uh, here it is taking some time uh, maybe uh, 30 seconds it will take to predict okay after that it will work fine just wait for a second couple of yeah, second so you can you can see that now uh, like uh, this is our um, original image and this is the image without background you can see that it is like uh, perfectly fine it is cropped out perfectly fine okay we can check it with the another image also you can choose here choose file and go with this one or this one anyone will work okay let me uh, take the, the darker one Yeah, you can see that this one. Uh, there is some uh, like uh, some. Um, it's uh, pretty good. Okay. Uh, okay, it's good. Not uh, that perfect, but it's good. Okay, I think so. So you can see that. So that's uh, end for this video. I will 
provide each and every detail in the description box like a github link and the paper link and that github url of this uh, paper right modnet paper i will mention there everything and uh, everything will be uh, uploaded in my github drive also i will share that link you can go through that you can easily able to do that i have tried with this plus one uh, in next video i will try to deploy it in another any of the server like heroku aws seo gcp anyone if it works okay so definitely so thank you everyone bye bye